A series of national Dazimio protests in March this year. One which led to property being destroyed and lives lost in the process. Lives of many Kenyans. According to Amnesty International, 16 people lost their lives. According to them, police are to blame for the killings of at least 12 people. We documented killings. We documented at least 12 killings, including of people that were not in the protest themselves. These were shopkeepers, these were people going to their homes, these were people in their homes, uh, and these were people who were around schools and colleges. The events of March 30th are still fresh in Joyce Kemunto's mind. She lost her four-month-old daughter after police shot a tear gas canister into their home in Kibra. <laughs> Edith Masava, a guardian to Lewis, also testified that he is still nursing a broken skull and injuries sustained when police lobbed a tear gas canister on him in Botella area here in Nairobi. <laughs> Aipoa has been asked to urgently conclude the investigations into all deaths and the unjustified use of force by police. We would like also to remind the Independent Policing Oversight Authority the delays in the conclusion of the investigations into the um, events that we have described are essentially not pro providing closure nor justice for families like Edith and Joyce. Interior CS Kithure Kindiki has however said that the government will not interfere with the independence of Aipoa and those found guilty will be on their own. Any police officer or any security officer who misuses their firearms outside the law is on their own. Majibu Kitsao for K24 TV, Nairobi.